execute a good pass with the right speed at the right pace and direction require a good technical prowess. That's why in this video, I'm going to teach you and lead you on on how you get your good passing right. So come with me. Let's go do it. So after our static uh, warm up and stretching, we started by using first of all a two cone variation to give the knees, the toes, and the ankle a go. I always emphasize so much on your touch and the way you receive the ball because it plays a very big role on what you're gonna do next on your decision making in the field. Cause a heavy touch will always either make you to be dis dispossessed or cost you the ball. So we increase the task by adding the third cone to maximize the alignment of the ball. Please guys, uh, bear with me because if you notice from this clip onwards, the video quality dropped. That is because the main camera battery malfunctioned and we have to improvise with the use of the available tool to finish the rest of the video. So please, bear with me. And what you're looking at right here, the cross passing system clearly shows why you have to be mobile in the pitch. And also, a good fitness is required to be able to move between the four cross markers. This helps you to stay sharp while picking up the ball from your teammates. That's the essence of this drill, guys. This particular drill gives you an extension of the ball feeling, ball mastering. It also gives you a close connection with the ball. An advantage of controlling a short quick pass and close control of the ball. This particular drilling system gives you an extension of the ball feeling, ball mastering. It also gives you a close connection with the ball. An advantage of controlling a short and quick pass and a close control of the ball at any pace and speed. 
like I always say, you have to practice always guys to get better. In my previous passing drill video with Alex, please those who have not seen that topic should refer to it because it's gonna help you to understand this clip very well. You will realize that we did a parallel ladder drill of 3 and 4 marker projection. But in this clip, we made use of 6 and 3 each line. This is to create more obstacle and complexity for the players in the middle. Just assume that you are playing a double 4 box to box midfielders. You have to always scan, keeping in mind that you are surrounded by markers who want to steal the ball away from you with any little hesitation, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video if you want to improve your football standard technical skills and prowess i urge you please to subscribe to my youtube channel comment like and share peace out